My name is Asad Liakut and I'm a Controls BMS engineer at Airdale International Air Conditioning. Yeah. My day today would consist of working on current projects. So usually what would happen is we have projects from the past which we might need updating, so like certain BMS systems. Um, we have some down south which I'm currently working on and they need fixing. We've got people on site that are doing things and as they're doing their thing, it gives me the opportunity to finish my side of the work. So I'm continuously designing the BMS, making sure everything's connected and everything's reading the right points back from certain devices and making it all available to the client so they can view it. Um, but that would be just the BMS side of things. And we also have the development side of things, which is one thing I really enjoy about my job because I get to code. And we, we, use, the, we use the Niagara framework, which is prob it's basically a software platform in which you can talk to many devices, regard, no matter what manufacturer, but on most protocols, so like BACnet, Modbus. And that gives us the ability to talk to whatever we want in the BMS world. We could talk to certain devices and then we can view that back to the customer, which is kind of what you want from a BMS, from what you want from a framework of this sort of industry, you'd want that from that. So working with the Niagara framework, we get to do things more direct. So then apart from that, um, it would consist of working with the Corel team. Now the Corel team, what they do is do the software strategies. So how a unit may work. Air deal makes chillers, air handling units, certain cooling things. So what the software team does is takes that unit, gives it some software, and essentially what would happen is that unit would work according to that software. So they might give, so the client might want to set a point of 23 degrees. So the units would work to achieve that goal. But then in certain conditions, that set point might lower, get higher. And they might have to, the units might have to turn off or basically slow down, ramp down or ramp up. You never know. That's Then from that software, we read their points. So we might get like, the flow rate or supply temperature, return temperature, things like that. We, we read that in our Niagara framework from these devices and then we view it on the BMS We make it available. And it's really good now because in Niagara 4 it's, it's really grown because now you've got, it's more web-based. First it was, a, it was more or less a Java platform. It was still good, there's nothing wrong with it, but you do have limitations. Now we have, it's got HTML5 more or less embedded. Now the HTML5 is fairly big, so you have a lot of content that you can now display web-based. So from that, we're able to get a more visually sort of pleasing sort of BMS than before. And we make all our own components. So the widgets and stuff like that, graphs, most of the widgets are our own. We don't use the default Niagara ones because we want to be unique. We want to be the ones that will be like, look, fair enough, but we've got, we've got ideas as well. We want to expand. So they've, obviously they've given you a framework. You don't have to limit yourself to what they've given you. Like, it's expandable. It's something you can work on. Mm -hmm.